Hello everyone, Washington here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, map a NAS drive to uh, your Windows uh, File Explorer. So in this example here, I am going to do my projects folder because I want easy access to my YouTube projects uh, for obvious reasons uh, to upload uh, all my videos that I do. So in this uh, example, this is a Synology NAS drive, but this should work with most uh, NAS drives. So as you can see here, I already have the media section, but I want easy access to a YouTube project. So I could put that in there. This is on this PC and I want access to it on the NAS direct here. So what we want to do is this is Windows 11, but it should work easy enough on Windows 10. You click the see more. I'll show you two locations so you can add a network uh, drive, which is what this one is. But we've also got add a network location. So I'll show you both. Uh, first of all, add a network location, open that up, and then we'll just click next, hit custom network location. And then in here, you just hit browse. You leave this about, for me uh, at this moment, it's about 30 seconds. My uh, network's being hit for some reason at the moment, but uh, we'll come back now in about 20 to 30 seconds. So here we go then, a couple of seconds later, and you'll see, uh, for me at least everything that's on your network so that's uh, my uh, little mini pc that i've done a video on quite recently video top right as well as scarrow scarrow is um, my uh, synergy nas so inside scarrow you can select what folder unfortunately you've got to uh, select a folder so in this case i want the projects area and now the ok button is just highlighted so hit ok that will then put in the network location, which is uh, four slash four slash scarrow four slash projects. Click next, give it a name. So I'm just going to call it projects. Remove scarrow because I know it is scarrow. Hit next and hit finish. So that will open up like that. So what you notice is a bit of a difference here. I'm going to now show you how to actually add a drive instead of the folder. So what you do with that one is you hit um, the three dots and add a network drive. Now, the difference is you'll notice that there is no letter, whereas on the media, there is a letter. So if you've got something that you want to pull off this, um, you will need the drive letter. This is how you do it. So if you notice instantly drive location, why? which is what I want for YouTube projects. So that's pretty good, but you can select any drive letter by here, just on the drop drop-down. Uh, you can see Scarrow Media is already taken. So I want Y. We're gonna hit uh, Browse again, and you'll see because we browsed recently, it's already there. And once again, we want to select Projects and hit OK, and then hit Finish. And then, there we are, it's just opened up now, so we can go into my YouTube projects direct from here, but let's just close that down, and you'll see that it also has a letter. So that's as easy as it is to do it. And uh, now all I'm going to basically do is I'm going to hit delete on this one because I don't need it. And there we go. I've now got my projects folder, and I also have my media folder. If this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you all to my uh, Patreon and PayPal uh, supporters. Their names are at the top right hand side of the screen right now. And don't forget to leave a comment down below of any other suggestions that you want to see. Catch you all in the next one and ciao for now.